Hi everybody, my name is Amy Schrank and I am a Master Certified Coach through the International Association of Wellness Professionals. I'm also creator of Redesigning Mo Motherhood, a program helping moms go from burnout to bliss, and I am founder of Amy Schrank Holistic Coaching. I'm really excited to be with you today. I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite strategy for creating a more satisfying and fulfilling life. Why is this important? Why is it important? Well, it's kind of a no-brainer, right? We'd all like to be satisfied, but it's also important on a different level. So current research actually links long-term dissatisfaction in life with compromised physical and mental health. It's one of the reasons I love taking a holistic approach to well-being. As practitioners or coaches um, of holistic nature, we don't compartmentalize physical challenges as merely physical. We have to take a step back and we have to look at the whole picture. For example, a person may be experiencing chronic pain because they're overweight. They may be overweight because other areas of their life are not being nurtured or they're not finding joy or fulfillment in areas that need their attention. And so food has become the primary source of pleasure for them. I often will work with mothers who come to me and they have no energy. They're too tired. They're not exercising. They're eating poorly because they're trying to feed the kids. So they're compromising what they know works for them and in order to be efficient, right, with mealtime. Um, or maybe sometimes they've stepped away from a career that was really fulfilling for them and they haven't supplemented and tapped into um, their creative purpose in a different way so that they can gain energy from, from, from being fulfilled in that particular aspect of their life. So research also shows us that there are certain areas of our lives that need to be nurtured in order to achieve enhanced satisfaction. Some of the areas that are most important, you guys may want to grab a pen and paper, put me on pause and grab a pen and paper and go for this, but some of the areas we need to pay attention to are movement or exercise, right? Personal growth and development, career health, romance and relationships, speed of life, cooking, food, spirituality, community, finances, home life, creativity, and mindset. We need to pay particular attention in nurturing each of these areas of our lives in order to have that overall sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. So holistic practitioners and coaches often refer to this as the core foods. So food is not the only thing that feeds us. Each of these areas is an important source of food, if you will, or fuel for us in some way. They all feed our souls and our well-being on some level, and so they need our attention. When an area goes unnoticed for too long, we experience dissatisfaction and dis-ease in our life. So how do we go about it? So to create a game plan for moving towards your most satisfying version of life, we begin by assessing each of these areas and how satisfied we are in each of these areas. In my program with my moms, I ask my clients to assess each of these areas on a scale of one to five, one being completely satisfied and five being completely unsatisfied. Sometimes, you might see this presented in a wheel form, format or referred to as the lifestyle wheel or the healthy lifestyle wheel. When we balance out our level of satisfaction in each of these areas, we see and we can visualize a wheel that turns seamlessly and that feels satisfying, right? You can, you can really feel how good that would feel to be in that state where you're just, I mean, balance is another word that we use for that. So, the key is, is once we've rated ourselves or assessed ourselves in each of these areas, we now have places that are obvious um, points to start. So we might pause. This is an important piece too. We need to pause and celebrate what's working in our lives. So often we create even more dissatisfaction in our lives by only focusing on what's not working. So if we can really pause and spend some attention on what's working well in our lives, and I would say spend the majority of the time focusing on what is working for yourself, um, but then create some room to give attention to those other areas. Use your inner guidance system 
to decide what are some things that you can do to improve those. I frequently will ask my clients to connect with their inner guidance system, connect with the divine wisdom within them, and to free write or journal some ideas that come to mind for each of the areas that are really um, lacking in satisfaction so that we can bolster those up. And then we choose one thing to start with, one simple thing, and we can come revisit it once we've we've created some momentum in that area. We want to make sure that whatever it is that we choose to start with feels expanding for us and exciting for us to tap into and to begin to do. It shouldn't come from a place of I should do more, right? We want it to come from this feels like it will energize me, that it will inspire me, that it will move me towards satisfaction in my life. Um, a couple other tips is, again, when we begin to start something new, we're so inclined to look for how things are not working for us. When you're starting something new, have your sole purpose to be like, let's see in what ways this is serving me. We can get frustrated when we don't get results fast enough and we easily dismiss things when they are working. They're just not necessarily working as fast as we want them to. So focus spending time when you're trying new things on what is working. Spend time also visualizing yourself, what it looks like and feels like to feel completely satisfied in this particular area of your life. Feel the feeling behind that. See yourself doing, thinking, and being that way. And carry this energy, this vibration with you into the world as you go forth. And it will make it easier um, to create uh, results in that area. So I hope this was really helpful for you. This is a fabulous tool. Um, if you would like to connect with me more and learn more, I'd love for you to visit me on my website, amyshrink.com, or visit me on Facebook at Amy Shrink Holistic Coaching, or you can shoot me over an email at amy at amyshrink.com. I would love to connect with you. I'd also love to hear what resonated with you and what didn't. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what made sense, what didn't, what you struggled to understand. I'd love to, to start a conversation there. So thanks so much, you guys, for being with me today. I look forward to seeing you again in the future.